All right, it's time for the mix. And speaking of pizza, yeah. which, by the way, is still looking amazing Very here. Delicious. We have a pizza-themed story, and it's going to blow you away. I don't know if you've ever been stuck on a runway for hours, yeah. and maybe you're thinking, you know what, what does the staff think? How come everybody's just sitting around? We're hungry, we're tired. Well, check this out. A Frontier Airlines pilot, um, he did something quite amazing. There was a flight that was diverted to, from Denver to Cheyenne, and the folks were sitting on the runway for a couple of hours. So he said, you know what, I want to take care of these folks. He places an order to Domino's no. at 10 o'clock at night, says, I need no, food fast for the customers. They make that pizza. Remember the days what? of 30 minutes or less? They got it there in 30 minutes How or less. How did they get on the runway? 35 pizzas. They got to the, they gave it to the flight attendants. They found a way to get it to the passengers. And so these passengers enjoyed 35 pizzas Whoa. courtesy of the pilot and they took off literally right after they got that pizza. That's a so great Domino's story. made it just in time. That's a great story. That's Go Frontier Airlines and this yes. pilot. Incredible. More stories like that. Yeah. Now from pizza to cats. <laughs> Perfect I, segue. I'm from Florida and they always make fun of me that crazy news stories come from Florida mm -hmm. and it's sort of true. A 911 call made by people because of their cat. Their cat. There's the cat. Oh, he looks scary. Goes a little crazy. Goes into this sort of crazed. It's a Russian blue cat called Kush. The folks called 911. The cat is removed by animal control, quarantined for 10 days, and the, the couple has Ooh. these bloodied scratches. You see them right there. They declined medical attention, but there's wow. also another story of another cat named Lux, 22-pounder, also similar thing. They called 911. He was sent again to um, off, and somebody adopted him, and it, it, they couldn't tame him. They couldn't tame him. Listen to this. My goodness. She tore me and my husband up, so we locked her in the bathroom all day. So I let her out, and she was okay, and then she told my husband, she's free. Well, I got her out of the bedroom, but now she's in my living room, and I can't get out. She's got us trapped in our bedroom. She, I mean, my husband, I, we're ripped up. I mean, ripped us. Poor blood. She ripped us up. Wow. That Sounds like there's some beef between the cat and the husband. <laughs> some bad Maybe we blood. need to investigate. <laughs> there you go. We'll call hey, you in. One more thing I want to see. I saw, <laughs> what is that scare me? <laughs> okay. Hey, one more thing I want to show you real quick. The moment when a dad reads for the first time to his son. I have twin boys, and I look at this video, and it almost makes me break up. Look Aww. at this. He's reading to his son. That's his son, Jack. <laughs> look at what Jack does every time he reads. Red pants. Uncontrollable Green laughter. Pants. Talk about pure joy. I can't wait till I have this with my kids. Oh. They like to listen, but they're not laughing like that just yet. Hopefully one day. More World News Now coming up.